Hi, my name is Nick Zygmunt. I am a sophomore at FAU and graduating the year of 2024. And we decided to do the double portrait with hat artwork. I personally decided to do the formal aspect of volume and mass. Now the volume and mass aren't as proper in this artwork as it could be in others. Um, the volume deals with the size and the space. And now the heads do take up a majority of the photograph itself. Um, the mass is kind of hard to describe and hard to tell only because it is a photograph and not a sculpture. Um, so I wouldn't say that there is a true mass to this artwork. It, this re relates to my everyday life or future career um, due to I am studying to become an architect and in architecture there are at least two forms in architecture design. Just like how there are two forms of personality in this artwork of Double Portrait with Hat. Hi, my name is Max Zavasky and I am a, currently a senior here at FAU and I am in the College of Accounting. The artwork that my group decided to discuss is called Double Portrait with Hat by Dora Marr and more specifically I will be discussing the formal element of composition. Composition is the arrangement of elements within a work of art and the composition of this artwork is there are two two uh, female faces and a large hat on top of them and <clears throat> how this pertains to my field is it reminds me of a journal entry which is each journal entry is both one big part so it could be seen as that large hat and there are two separate parts that are also related so this could be that could be seen as the two faces of the women Hello, my name is Evelyn Nancy. I'm a sophomore at FAU and I'm majoring in biology with a focus in health science. And today I'm going to be talking about the formal element of space within this image. One thing should be mentioned is that I think this image is a depiction of a woman's two torn emotional states. So looking at the first woman with the side profile, we can see that the subject is looking towards a lot of negative space, which could be representative of her emotional state and how she has kind of an emptiness in her life. And the woman with the frontal profile profile is um, kind of fading away here on the far right hand side which could be representative of her mental health and her mental state kind of fading away from her as well so I think this could be useful for me because I want to focus on more psychology as I progress in my uh, career here at FAU and I think being able to analyze an image like this could help in future diagnosis in my field as I progress in my career hi my name is Jada Williams. This is my third year at FAU and my major is theater. The artwork my group decided to discuss is Double Portrait with Hat by Dora Mar. I will be discussing the light and value. Light is the natural agent that stimulates the brain and value is the tone, ranging from black to white with gray, different shades of gray in between. The artwork we decided to discuss has a natural lighting with light to me as it's coming from the top and a dark tone. I think that being able to discuss an image <clears throat> and going into depth with it helps with my career and my major because I constantly have to go into depth and analyze plays. I'm Dylan Williams, currently studying International Business and Finance at Florida Atlantic University. I'm currently a sophomore and today we're going to be talking about Double Portrait with Hat done by Dora Mar. Today I'll be giving a description of the surface texture of the piece. And basically what this means is that I'll be telling you guys what the piece looks like it would feel like in real life. This is known as visual texture. So what I can tell you about this piece is that the faces on the piece in real life must feel smooth. And that's because Dora Mar took two pictures as mentioned before from a magazine. And pages on a magazine are always smooth. For visual texture where Dormar painted, which are the background and the hat of the picture, I would say the background looks a little smooth and the hat looks quite rough to me, in my opinion. But we can't tell you anything about real texture because we can't feel it in real life. And this is painted, so we'll never know. So when looking at this picture, if you just ignore one eyeball, you're still seeing the whole left side of someone's face and they're looking right at you. But if you forget about that eyeball and look into the other eyeball, just ignore one of them, you're still seeing the whole left side of someone's face. But if you realize, it looks like they're looking a whole different direction. And so when you ignore one aspect of something, it can change your whole perspective and your whole view towards it. And so in life, I think that you should always pay attention to all the details and really get the best perspective out of everything.